Now we go to a very important parameter of moist air that you need to know. That's humidity ratio or people call it moisture content or absolute humidity of the moist air. What is this? This is the amount of vapor. This is the amount of vapor divided by the amount of dry air. Okay? So how many kilogram of vapor in a kilogram of dry air? That is called absolute humidity or humidity ratio or moisture content of the moist air. And this is the indicator for the W. Mass of water vapor per unit mass of dry air. And if we based on the mole this is the mole if we convert from mass to mole then you have to use the molecular weight molecular weight of water this is molecular weight of air okay air consists of around 80 percent of nitrogen 20 percent of oxygen and then that is the average molecular weight 28.96 then you convert from the mass to the mole. You also have this formula to calculate. Okay. And based on the perfect gas law, phương trình khí lý tưởng, mình học ở phổ thông, yeah. The perfect gas law, we have this, and then we can whatever, whatever, convert, convert, and then we obtain, this is absolute humidity. So the pressure of vapor, this is partial pressure of vapor, this is partial pressure of dry air. So based on the pressure, the same equation we will obtain, like in the case of mole. So it's like equal to 0 by 622 mole of water vapor, mole of dry air or mass of water vapor, mass of dry air. Okay, this is these three equations we can use to calculate absolute humidity. And if we already know from the beginning slide, the partial pressure of dry air will be the barometric pressure subtract to the water vapor pressure. Now, we go to relative humidity. This we actually see a lot when we talk about food technology. Uh, relative humidity, especially when we talk about drying. Then relative humidity is very important. Now we look at the equation and then we understand the definition. What is this? Relative humidity is mole of water vapor of a specific moist air that we are looking at divided by mole of water vapor of that air at saturated condition. S means saturated condition of that air. What does that mean? Uh, explain again here. When you listen to television, you hear sometimes that the men there say, wow, well, the weather, the air is very humid the relative humidity can be up to 95%. What does that mean? If you don't study food technology, you are scared because you would think that, wow, 95% of vapor in the air, no more oxygen to breathe. What is the composition of air? More or less 80% of nitrogen and 20% of Oxygen, this would not change much. So what then, when you hear relative humidity 95%? Your parents are scared. Wow, what happened, son? Because then we have no oxygen to breathe. Because the vapor is too much in the air. Is that true? Relative humidity is what? The mole of water vapor at the current state that we are looking at the air divided by the mode of water vapor at saturated condition at the same temperature of pressure for that air. 
when when they say relative humidity 95% means that that air already contain 95% of vapor is can contain so you if you add in 5 more percent it's become become saturated 5 more percent of vapor eh? if you add in 5 more percent it will be saturated means the relative humidity would become a hundred percent saturated air with vapor means that the relative humidity is already a hundred percent because this now the equation is based on the mole so when you convert it to pressure it would be the same the partial pressure of vapor divided by the partial pressure of vapor as saturated condition this one you can take from the steam table saturate the steam table okay you go go back to the steam table here at this temperature saturated air the partial pressure of the vapor will be this value means that the air at this temperature already contain or already hold maximum amount of vapor it can hold it can contain if we introduce more vapor i will just explain more if we introduce more vapor into this air it will be condensate back into liquid will not be in vapor state anymore because that air is already at its highest capacity of holding vapor now we go back so if we base on density it would be the same they use several formula equation to converge and then this one they use the density of water vapor density of water vapor a saturated condition now what do we need to know here when we increase the temperature of the air then this one will increase or decrease when we increase the temperature of the air the saturated water vapor can increase means that the air can then uptake more vapor if you increase the temperature this one will increase and then the relative humidity of that air will be reduced because this one doesn't change when you heat an air when you heat an air the mole of vapor inside is the same because you doesn't add in more moisture more water so this is the same but because when you increase the temperature that air normally can uptake more vapor and this one will increase and this one will decrease so when you heat the air the air will become drier but when you heat the air do you change the absolute humidity what is absolute humidity the mass of water vapor per the mass of dry air when you heat the air you don't change it at all we get the same no so absolute humidity is not dependent on temperature but relative humidity is dependent on the temperature this is the reason why in conventional drying they need to heat the air why they heat the air to lower the relative humidity so to dry the food more we we'll discuss later okay and what else yeah, i already explained so it is important to express the temperature of the air whenever relative humidity is expressed so when we give a relative humidity then we should give also together with it the temperature because relative humidity is dependent on temperature 